Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Easy Reports plugin. So this is a really handy plugin which allows your players to report other players to admins for doing various bad stuff. Now this is a handy way of tracking who is up to what and there is a really nice GUI where you can seal the reports and then take action if necessary. So first of all, I'm going to utilize the fake players plugin we looked at last week and this will allow me to report these um, other players on my server. And the way we would do that is forward slash reports followed by a player's name and then you can type out a reason. So I'm going to type something completely random such as this and then we can hit enter. Now it's going to pop up on the screen, it says the reported player by myself and it also shows in chat. And then an admin can then open the GUI and look at the report. So if I were to forward slash easy reports and then menu, this is the admin menu. Now it's going to show each player up here and then how many reports they have. So if we click into this one, there is another GUI and then in here we can grab the name of the player if we want. So if we look at the reports here, we have the most recent, which I just did here, the date and the time reported by myself. And then you can see the others were yesterday. And what we can do is go back, we can freeze the player if, uh, if that's necessary, we can delete a report and then if we want to take action, there are three options, we can kick the player, we can ban them and we can mute them. Now because it is a fake player it's going to say player not found but if it was a real player they would be kicked from the server. Now of course you can do easy reports reload if you want to reload the config file. So that is how it works in game. You can see it's super easy for players and admins to use this report system to hopefully keep everyone in check. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. You can see there are four YML files. If we start at the config there's not too much in here. So we have the max reports per player and you can only do up to 12 I've set but you could set this to anything or turn it off so you have infinite reports. And then we have the notification settings so uh, whether it reports the message, it brings up a title and a sound and then you can change the sound here as well as the volume and the pitch which is kind of cool. And then if you really want, you can have a MySQL database, but you don't have to. Ims.yml is just how the GUI is going to look, so all the buttons and whatnot, so I wouldn't recommend changing or dealing with that. Then we have the messages that are going to pop up in chat. So here we are on the speaker page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20, and there's some handy pictures and information down here about what everything does and then how to use it, as well as the commands and permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.